Hello there and welcome to Mrs. Activity. My name's Heather and I'm the founder and I'm going to take you through the website now and show you everything you need to know as part of your school subscription. So once your account has been created and you're logged into the website, you can navigate and browse to your heart's content. Um, but I'm going to show you through a few of our schemes of work today just to show you exactly how they work and where to find them. So I'm going to start with our rhyme time scheme, which is this little link at the top. You can also find it through the menu as well for early years. It's just there. Um, and Rhyme Time is our phase one pre-reading pre -reading and pre-writing scheme. So this page tells you everything you need to know and then you can find the lessons. This is an eight week scheme um, within that page as well. So each of the lessons has got a lesson presentation, a planning document and all accompanying resources. So you would have to click on each individual section or just download the bundle and just download the, those resources to deliver the scheme. So all the guidance you need is included in the lesson plan. So you don't need any other information. It's a kind of pick up and go type situation. So that is Rhyme Town. Now I'm gonna take you on to our morning starters. So we've got morning starters for um, all year groups. So you would click on the year group you're working with and then, so say it was year two, and then you would download the morning starter. So there should be a morning starter for each week of each half term. So at the moment, obviously, we're in the spring term. So uh, I've got those at the top. But in the autumn term, you can find those as well. So those are in there. If you're in early years, they're slightly different. They're more like morning jobs. So there's a, if you look in these here, there's like a list of the activities for the children. So the idea is that children are split into groups and then each day they do a different job. Um, so within these packs there it tells you what the job should be and then it's got some resources as well for you to print out to set those tasks up so it could be uh maths mark making phonics scissor skills fine motor skills there's lots of different things in there so that's for early years um going on now to provision so we've got our mr c's provision range so again we've got one we've got six per half term so we've got 12 for the autumn term and uh, there will be 12 for the spring term as well. And those are in there. So those are for early years. And they've got a range of kind of like themes and different topics and everything like that. So you don't need to follow them in the way that we've set them out. That's just for ease. You can do them in whatever order that you want to. Obviously, Christmas one, you probably want to do it Christmas. Um, but uh, uh, most of them, you know, you could do any time of year. Um, so that's the Mr. C range. Then going on to our SPAG scheme, so again, you would find this at the top, but you can also browse through the menu as well, and it might be easier to do that. Um, so once you're on this page, you can scroll down, and then it takes you to whatever uh, key stage you're in, and then you would click on the term that you're in at the moment. And then you can see in here, we've got all the lessons are in steps. We've got lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four. And then at the end, there should be an assessment. This one hasn't been uploaded yet, but there is an assessment for each of the uh, half terms as well. Um, and then there's a spelling strand as well that goes with each of the um, year groups. So the spelling strand, it's got the overview of what spelling should be taught and then the activity card, spelling list. So this should help you with spelling tests and things like that. And it's also got some handwriting activities that link the spellings as well, dictations and uh, as a PowerPoint and a writing sheet. So that's the SPAG scheme. If you actually go into one of the SPAG lessons, again, you can download the resources separately. So you've got the presentation, the activity and the worksheet. So you can download one thing at a time, uh, whichever you need. So that's the SPAG scheme. And then going on to our math scheme. So again, you can either choose to click on the link at the top or you can go uh, from the menu. So I'm going to look at the um, early years of reception math scheme just to give you a bit of an overview of how that works. It is slightly different. So the math scheme for early years, um, again, you can download everything separately here. The lesson plan is the main thing because that tells you how to use the lesson presentation. And then you've got the accompanying resources as well. So that's obviously very, very popular. Um, that's early years. And then for the rest of the year groups, again, you might want to just browse this way. In fact, I'm going to do length and perimeter. So here you've got all the lessons are split down into weeks. So you've got a uh, week because this is the blocks. It's the week of the, of the term rather than the week of the block, if that makes sense. So here we've got one of the lesson packs here. And again, you can download everything separately here. You just click on whatever you want. And then once you finish that 
block, you've got the assessment as well, and then the revision maps. Some of the um, blocks have got knowledge organizers as well, which will help you. And obviously these uh, maps here you can use for consolidation or even as the morning starter or as part of your assessment as well. So that's a bit of an overview of our schemes. Um, and any questions, if you let me know, I'm always happy to help. <laughs>